All right, we now have system-wide support for the Logitech Muse, which is freaking awesome. Finally, uh, if you go to settings, you have to um, be on the latest uh, development beta 26.2. And it now shows up under general. And check this out. I can just treat this as an input device. Special accessory, there's Logitech Muse. And you can go and you can select, it's defaulted to off. And this is pretty cool. You can move your windows around, throw them off, bring them close. Look at the corners. Actually, I can't resize this window, but you can close it. Um, let's try, I saw someone try Freeform. There it is. I don't really use this app at all. I used this like last year. And I think I was testing out on the iPad. Um, so let's go to a new uh, document. Let's go up here. I go open. Can I create a new one from here? All right. Let's see. Um, again, like I said, I don't really use this at all. So I think if I go to here, I get the tools. Can I, I don't know how to delete that. Hit undo. Okay, cool. Now we've got the tools. Uh, so we have a pencil. Pretty cool. You can sort of feel a little haptic when you get close to the surface. I can feel a little bit of a tap there. Let's see, I'm just looking at these. It's like a gradient fill. Crayon. It's pretty cool. Of course, you're going to get a little fatigue drawing in space, but it's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty responsive. It's not, I'm not feeling any pressure sensitivity because I'm only, I'm not pushing any buttons. I'm just tapping and drawing that I'm not actually clicking on any of the buttons right now. Actually, now I'm clicking on a button. That's interesting. So I'm off the surface clicking, or if I go on the surface and just draw. So you can do that. Interesting. So I'm drawing in space and just kind of like painting on the canvas. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's a nice watercolor. Look at that bleed. Yeah, the color build up, it's nice. Ink, let's see what we got with this ink pen. Which now begs the question, why can't we get Procreate running on this? But Spatial Procreate would be cool. Spatial ZBrush, I can run some ZBrush and some other iPad apps on here. Be great to get some spatial versions of those apps. Um, pretty cool. What else? Um, I was testing out Matt's, uh, shared canvas app. So let's go to enter drawing space, move this off to the side. Um, he just added symmetry and let's see here. Let's do normal. It's a little bit, uh, there's a little bit of a lag here. I'm just wondering, he's still working on this, so I, I'm, I can see it's a little bit laggy. There's a, why isn't that, there we go. But yeah, it's, it's there. It's working. It's like tilt brush. Uh, I don't know why sometimes I'm getting a, there we go. Oh, I'm, I think I'm running into the, I got two menus here, I'm running into the menu. Why do I have two menus, Matt? Let's see. Huh. Now I just lost the tip. Interesting. Can I, uh... Yeah, it's not... Let's close this. Let's quit and restart it up. It could also use this. I can just go through my menus really quickly here. I think it's at the very end. Here we go.
There we go. That feels a little smoother. Maybe I had multiple menus open. Of course, I want to be able to grab this and move it around. So I know we're probably in a, a full uh, volume here. I mean, I can probably draw all over the place, so I don't see any, I'm not hitting any borders. But yeah, I think we need to have the ability to click and move each stroke maybe, would be kind of cool. Um, hierarchies would be, would be huge. I know he's got um, the symmetry now. And where did the symmetry go? There it is. I don't see the line show up this time. Usually you see a line, but it's there. Let's go ahead and clear our canvas. Oh, there, there's a line right now. In there. Pretty cool. This will be fun to play with, showing all the other developers on Thursday at Apple. You get the idea. I want to see um, shaded uh, so we can have some directional light source and it would be kind of cool too. Right now these are all, oh, actually there that has some, some lighting on it. Interesting. We are getting closer to what we should have had at launch, but I know there's gonna be a plethora of apps coming out now. I don't, oh, yeah, I think when I'm pointing with the menu behind, it interferes with the stroke. Yeah, hold on, let's undo that. And I just changed that from math. There we go. This would be nice if it was like maybe on our hand. We can like, well, I know that that command calls up the menu, but maybe it might be cool if we could somehow have a gesture, like a, a little wrist gesture. And then we see the, the palette. All right, cool. I don't want to go too far with this, but it's uh, definitely fun to play with. I love just being able to click and access all my tools now. Then having to use my fingers to tap. Change the color there. All right, cool. 